Hello everyone, let's take a look at Lecode 1825. It's the last question in the weekly context. And it's a hard problem. Um, although it's a hard problem, but it's not that hard. It's just very complex since you may need a lot of coding and you mean to debug a lot. Okay, let's take a look. Um, so if you haven't used this problem, you can um, take some time to read. Basically, we need to implement three functions, mk average, and element, and calculate mk average. Okay, so it's a sliding window problem since we need to keep the window of size m. And we need to keep three containers, one for the uh, largest k elements, one for the smallest k elements, and one for the middle elements. And we also find that elements can be duplicated. So we need a multiset. So we need to maintain the smaller and larger like to be size of K. Okay, let's take a look at the implementation. So we need to keep M and K since this is the input to initialize our class. And we need to keep a window. So, um, when we add, add a new number, we may pop the front element. So we need to keep the old elements in the window. And we have these three uh, multisets to record the smaller nums, larger nums, and middle nums. And we have this middle sum. It needs to be long, otherwise we may get overflow. Okay, if we can maintain this middle sum and variable correctly, then it's very easy to implement calculate MK average. When the size of window is smaller than M, we can just return negative one. Otherwise, we just return middle sum divided by this uh, middle size. So this is average we want to get. So the key point is how to maintain middle sum here. Okay, let's implement the element function. Um, so element here is very simple since I implement two um, other functions. One is add element num, add this element like, to my window and maintain some mod set. And if the window size is uh, greater than m, then we need to pop the old element. So we need to remove some element. Okay, let's take a look at this add element. So element, add element will add a new element to my window. At first, uh, all these multi set are empty. So we will go to this if branch. For example, when m is 10, and when we add the first element, the second element, nothing special happens here. We just push the element to a window. But when we add the 10th element, something happens. Since window size is same as m, we will call initialize multi set to initialize these three multi set. Note yeah, only run once since after running in initialize multi set, middles will not be empty. So this function will only run once here. Okay, let's take a look at initialize multi set. Initialize multi set is very simple. When we just add um, elements, I, I will copy the window to another local variable called count window. And uh, I will just copy all the elements in my window to my nums here and just sort these nums and uh, just put like the first k and smallest element into smaller nums, put the largest k elements into larger nums and put the middle elements into mi middles and don't forget to update this mi middle sum so that we can get middle sum in all one time. Okay, so initialize um, what you say is very simple. After we adding m elements, then we add what more elements, we will go here. After adding M, M elements, assuming we are adding one more element, and uh, let's say if the new element is smaller than uh, the biggest number in smaller, so if value is in this green range, what will happen? Like, um, we want to keep the size of smaller to be K. Now we add value to smaller. So the size of smaller will be K plus one. So we will try to move the largest element in smaller to middle so that the size of smaller will still be K. 
Okay, so this is our middle candidate. This is the largest element in smaller. Okay, next, I will try to try to uh, like insert value to smaller and uh, erase the middle candidate and insert the middle, middle candidate to middle. And don't forget to update this middle sum since we add one more element to middle here. Okay, and we need to use erase here. Since it's a multi-set, use erase. Uh, if there is duplicate numbers, we will erase all of them. So we need pass by uh, the iterator here. Okay, if the value is in this red, uh, red color range, it's very similar. So I just skip it. If the value is in uh, the middle range, it's very simple. We just insert value to middles. Then don't forget to update this middle sum. Okay. Since uh, so window size will be greater than M, so we want to pop the old element. First, we pop the old element from our window. And this, is, this value is the pop element. So we will try to remove this value from uh, our multi-set. The first case says this, yes, uh, the value is in this um, smaller set. What shall we do? First, we just e erase it. Same as before, we need to pass uh, the iterator here. So we just erase the first value that just greater same than this value. Okay. Then, uh, since we want to keep the size of smaller to be k, now we remove one element. The size is k minus one. So we try to get to the smallest element in the middle and uh, move this element to smaller. So this is a uh, small candidate. We insert this small candidate to smaller and uh, erase it from mi middle. Don't forget to update middle sum since we remove this element. Okay, if the value is in this uh, red range in larger set, it's very similar, so I will skip it. If the element to be deleted is in the middle range, it's very simple. We just remove it from middles, and don't forget to update this uh, middle sum. Okay, so far so good. So finally, uh, in this calculate M case, the average is very, very simple. We just return middle sum divided by the middle size. So this is all the implementation. So actually, this problem is not that hard. Like it's difficult because it's very hard to write a very clean code, and we need to maintain a lot of state here. So uh, we need some more time to practice. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. See you next time.